Recording 41. You will hear a conversation between an admissions officer and a manager from the university's technologies department. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 26. Hello, I'm Randy Agotra from the Technologies Department. Ah, yes, good. I'm Dave Hadley. Thanks for coming to see me. That's OK. I believe you want us to do some work for you. Yes, that's right. Um, I'm responsible for student admissions to the college and I use a computer system to help process student enrolments and to do the timetabling. Uh-huh. But it really doesn't suit the way we work these days. It's over 10 years old, and although it was fine when it was first introduced, it's just not good enough now. OK, what problems are you experiencing? Well, 20 years ago, the college was quite small, and we didn't have the numbers of students or tutors that we have now. So the system can't handle the increasing volumes? Well, there's a lot more data now, and it sometimes seems the system has crashed, but in fact, it just takes ages to go from one screen to the next. Right. Is that the only problem? Well, that's the main one, but there are others. In the past, doing the timetabling was quite simple, but now we have a lot more courses, and what's made it complicated is that many of them have options. Right, but the system should allow you to include those. Well, no, it doesn't. It was supposed to, and a few years ago we did ask someone from the technologies department to fix it, but they never seemed to have the time. Hmm. Are there any other issues with the system? Well, I've been given extra responsibilities, and so I have even less time to do the timetabling. If there was anything you could do, Randir, to make the process more efficient, that would be really helpful. Well, it sounds like you could do with an assistant, but that's obviously not possible. So what about having an online system that students can use to do their scheduling? How would that work? Well, it may mean less choice for students, but we could create a fixed schedule of all the courses and options and they could then view what was available. And work it out for themselves. That sounds great. OK, so um, we'll need to decide whether or not to improve the existing system or to build a completely new system. Well, I'd much prefer to have a new system. Quite frankly, I've had enough of the old one. OK, that'll probably take longer, although it may save you money in the long run. When were you hoping to have this in place? Well, it's January now, and the new intake of students will be in September. We need to start processing admissions in the next few weeks, really. Mm, well, it will take more than a few weeks, I'm afraid. As an initial estimate, I think we'll be looking at April or May to improve the existing system, but for a new system, it would take at least nine months. That would be October at the earliest. Now listen and answer questions 27 to 30. What are the next steps if we are to have a new system? Well, the first question is, do you have support from your senior management? Yes, I've already discussed it with them, and they're also keen to get this work done. OK, 
because I was going to say that's the first thing you need to do, and without that, we can't go ahead. Yes, I've done that. That's good. Actually, they mentioned that there's probably a form I need to complete to formally start the project. Yes, that's the next thing you need to do. I'll send you an email with a link so you can fill it in online. It's called a project request form. Okay, great. And then what happens? Well, I have a list of things, but I think the third thing you should do is see Samir. He's our analyst who will look at the system and identify what needs to be done. Okay. Can you send me his contact details, and I'll set up a meeting with him. Okay, that's good. So we should soon be able to get a team together to start the work. Some members of our team work in different locations, so it's not easy to have face-to-face -face meetings. That's okay. I'm used to having conference calls, providing they're not late at night. <laughs> right. So I'll send you details of the team, and if you could set up a call, that would be great. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks. That is the end of section three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 4.